Could the existence of massive, almost inconceivable castles from pre-medieval times have helped shape the Holy Roman Empire, enable centuries of royal dynasties, and incite wars? Could these castles have purposefully and erroneously been misdated and information about their origins misconstrued to hide their original discovery? Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is a good one for me. If you know anything about the history of the Holy Roman Empire or Prussia, or their possible ties to Tartary and the massive construction projects, well, this is gonna be a good video for you as well. Lately, in the community, we've been discussing the intertwining of castles and man-made construction with the natural formations of rock found in nature. Today, we will discuss an anomaly that both the history books and modern scientists have yet to explain. Hohenzollern is a castle with nearly 1,000 years of history, and the House of Hohenzollern has one of the most influential, convoluted, and for the most part, unknown histories of all the royal families of Europe. The Hohenzollerns are a former European royal dynasty with kings, princes, electors, emperors, and rulers in Hohenzollern, Brandenburg, Prussia, the German Empire, and Romania. Their family tree still continues today in the Prince of Prussia, George Frederick, and the Prince of Hohenzollern, Karl Frederick. The family rose to prominence in the late Middle Ages, accompanying the Hohenstaufen family, later Stauffer, in support of the Holy Roman Empire. The Hohenzollern family ruled Nuremberg, Brandenburg, and Prussia, respectively, before they unified in 1701 to create the Kingdom of Prussia. At the peak of its influence, the Hohenzollern family had leaders all across Europe. The Hohenzollern family motto is nothing without God, and the family coat of arms is a black and white hound with a black and white checker pattern shield. Now let's begin with their name, Hohenzollern. Something as simple as a family surname, especially in a famous family like this, should have a simple history. Well, not in this case. The Hohenzollerns, which are first mentioned in 1061, derive their name from the Hohenzollern castle which sits in modern-day Baden-Württemberg, Germany. The monumental castle sits on top of Hohenzollern Mountain, which is also named after the castle, sitting at an elevation of over 2,800 feet. Now, Burkhardt is said to be the first Hohenzollern, and he is also the first Count of Zollern, Zollern being a county of the Holy Roman Empire, named after the Hohenzollern Castle in 1218. Burkhardt is uh, apparently killed in 1061 and this is the first mention of the Hohenzollerns. But Burkhardt took the name Hohenzollern when he discovered the castle, took the name of the castle, and took the castle to be his own. If you trace the history of Burkhardt of Hohenzollern backwards, it's a dead end. Uh, they only give a father that's purported with no proof and they say it's Frederick, Count of Sulichin, who doesn't have any history translated into English. And his parents are said to be Hesso I and Hiltgard, respectively. And there's also no translated history for either of them. Um, so there's really no ties to Burkhardt of Hohenzollern besides uh, him finding the castle and the Hohenzollern family starting from there. So, we have a castle that supposedly was built in the early 11th century. This castle was called Hohenzollern Castle. Who called it that? We don't know. Around the same time, within 50 years, the castle inspired Burkhardt and his family to take over the castle and take the castle's name as his own, Hohenzollern. The castle, which history is shown to be shrouded in mystery, sits atop a mountain which conveniently was named Hohenzollern. All of this incurs in a county of the Holy Roman Empire called Zollern, which derived its name from Hohenzollern in 1218. Therefore, we simply can't trace the name Zollern beyond Hohenzollern, which itself we can't trace beyond Burkhardt's discovery of the castle. Who built the castle? It said the original castle that stood on the land was quote-unquote, completely destroyed in the 15th century, and what we see today was built in the 1800s. I don't think this is true. If the Hohenzollerns discovered the castle, 
and then occupied the castle, taking its name as their own, who were the original inhabitants. The castle appears to rise from nearly a mile tall mountain. How did the builders construct this castle on a steep mountainside in the 11th century? It appears the foundations to the castle could be much larger, deeper, and vastly more complex than historians give it credit for. Could this mountain actually be hiding a much larger complex from before a possible cataclysm? When we begin to allow our minds to contemplate the creation and destruction of these mind-bending feats of architectural glory, we begin to see that this world may have unraveled entirely different than we have been presented with. Those who located these castles, these strongholds, those who discovered the technology and the tools, those who found the proofs of God, were able to utilize what they discovered, claim them as their own, and gain control of history and therefore, the world. I believe the Hohenzollern is just another example of this. Now, normal YouTube spiel, uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, this is probably my most time-consuming video yet, just because I put a lot of work into it. I got a microphone and everything, but I love doing this research, and I appreciate you watching, and uh, I hope this sparked a little bit of interest in you. So, uh, this was the Hohenzollern family. Thank you.